permanent love. Let me say something to you. Your flesh is gonna die, just like how mine is gonna die. Your flesh is gonna die, but your soul is never gonna die. You've been yeah, put this is New Year's evangelism embarking. You've Hallelujah. Been put for a reason. God has chosen you to be a child, to be his son or daughter. God created this earth. You see, some people ask me proof that God exists. And I say to them, your proof is your life, your proof is the Bible, and your proof is the cross. You see, who else would die for you? No one. You see, Jesus Christ healed and heals. He is alive forever. He heals the blind. He heals the deaf. He healed the sick. You see, nothing is impossible with God. Sometimes you say in your life, oh, that's, that's impossible. But you know, if you're with Jesus Christ, nothing is impossible. I thought I'm gonna live in depression forever. I turned 21 a week ago. And I thought I'm gonna live in, in depression. When I was 18, I was, I was going through so much, so much anxiety. And, and I even took medicine. Nothing helped. Nothing was helping. I tried everything. But then I forgot I was a Christian. I forgot I needed to pray. And I began to pray. And it disappeared within a week. And I had anxiety for 10 years. And this is me. You see, you need to live by God, by Jesus. You need to be born again. All of us must be born again. Jesus Christ, he didn't die on the cross for himself. He died for us. He died for our sins and for us to live a life. That's why your eyes are open right now. But none of you know that. Your eyes are open is because of the Lord God. Not your morning routine. Oh, you wake up at 8 a.m. every morning. I'm going to set my alarm. You could not wake up. Without God, you wouldn't wake up. That's why I'm waking up. That's why I'm standing here right now. You're shopping. Uh, you're coming back from work. It's all because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not family. Listen, we need to put God number one. He's the king of kings. We need to put him number one. We need to involve him in everything that we do. You need to wake up. You need to repent from your sins. What's repentance? Repentance is praying and asking God for our sins. Committing adultery is a sin. Having sex before marriage. Stealing is a sin. Worshipping other gods before Jesus Christ or even like at all is a sin. Stealing is a sin. Murder is a sin. Prostitution is a sin. Rape is a sin. Listen, we all sin. You see, no one else is perfect. Nobody and nothing is perfect other than Jesus Christ. That's the definition of perfect, is Christ. Pray. be answered but you can't be thinking in the back of your mind when you're praying oh God is not gonna respond because then God will feel that your faith isn't the, the that strong faith that he's looking for that's why your answer that's why your prayer doesn't get answered some of you ask me you come you come up and you ask me why is my prayer not being answered your answer is because your faith isn't strong enough you need to ask God to strengthen your faith you need to be not praying once a week, but daily. You see, in life, they say, let's have our five a day. You know, fruit, vegetables. But there's something better than that. You see, I'm going to name those five in a minute. Listen, we need to live by 316. For God so loved the world, he gives only God, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, Jesus Christ suffered on that cross. Pain, blood in the hands and his feet, his whole body with nails. Imagine someone hammered a, a nail in your hand, in your foot. Jesus did that for example, there's billions of people on this planet and all of us are children of God. You've been chosen 
animals have been chosen by God to be animals. We've chosen to be a child of God. This world is temporary. This world is temporary. It's not forever. You are not forever. Only your soul is forever and is either heaven or hell. You see, the gates of hell, they never ever close, ever. They never close. They're always welcome to those who don't pray, repent, read their Bible, go to church. That, that's, that's the journey to hell. That's the journey to hell. We need to be living really close to Christ. You see, look at this world, how it's, how it's becoming. That's because loads of us are really far from, from the Lord. Only He is perfect. Only He creates miracles. Only Him. You see, the Bible is the best education. What, what gets taught in schools isn't all right.